Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome to another episode of A Pipe Story. I am smoking my LaRocca, and I'm going to slaughter the pronunciation, I'm sure. It's a Croco. Croco, Croco, whatever. But this is uh, one of the unique pipes that I have. Uh, first of all, it's uh, LaRocca. It's my first LaRocca I've reviewed on here or talked about. And I think actually that uh, I mentioned that LaRocca is my favorite pipe maker all the way around. And um, this is one of them. And what I wanted to talk about today and use this pipe as an illustration is what makes a good pipe. I know I forget the, the zoom factor. As you can see here, it's got some of that crocodile type sandblasting kind of sits. Almost like a calabash on the x-axis there, kind of a, I guess a three-quarter bent, something like that. <clears throat> what I love here is the, uh, how shiny the rim is there. Uh, I really like that. It's almost like a coffee table or something. I, I really like that look. And I am smoking one of my uh, blends that's been aging for, I don't know, about five weeks. Right now, tentatively named blend number eight. <laughs> and it's a, it's a Virginia Latakia. It's not really in English, although it has Latakia. Um, but it's a Virginia and Black Stove Virginia. And I love Black Stove Virginias. Um, that's a great complex tobacco. Um, it really adds some really cool stuff into blends. Um, so it's a Virginia Latakia, some Burley, a little dash of Cat, Green River Cavendish, and a little dash of Latakia. Really smooth and really floral. I'm, I may keep this one. So anyway, I wanted to talk today about a little bit off the, the main path of a pipe story, but um, I've been noticing that a lot of people on the YTPC have a video for... Uh, you know what they in their opinion makes a good pipe and so i wanted to talk about that a little bit and go from there and give my thoughts on that and to me there's there's two rules that i have for my pipes and <clears throat> pardon me the hands all dirty and i'm all sweaty i've been out in the yard working on the uh getting the christmas tree and the christmas stuff down and stepped out here for a pipe so uh, two rules for me for what makes a good pipe, and that's how it looks and how it feels. Now, there's a lot of subparts to that um, that I wanted to talk about. How it looks, you know, a pipe is an investment in yourself, and it's a reflection of you at some level. And you choose how you look and how you um, present yourself when you're smoking a pipe. And there's some experimentation in there about what you like and um, that sort of thing and kind of who your influences are. Like for me, uh, I grew up reading Sherlock Holmes stories and also I read a lot of C.S. Lewis. I was never a really big Tolkien fan. Um, I know a lot of folks are. Uh, this isn't a literary channel by any stretch of the imagination. But I just, I like the movies. I like the Lord of the Ring movies. Um, I didn't see any of The Hobbit because I, quite frankly, couldn't stand the book as a child. Um, and I over I overfilled my lighter on accident, so I'm having to be a little careful on the lights. But, so for me, you know, the, the Sherlock Holmes kind of stuff, the bent, uh, the Petersons, the bent kind of stuff, That's that I like that. And then the very simple old looking English style, um, classic billiard straight. I like to kind of blend a bent billiard and things like that kind of merge both of them, but how you look and how you present yourself, um, the things you want to do are a part of what makes a pipe good. Doesn't really matter the label. We're going to factor that into point two, but it's really kind of how you want to go. 
uh, how you like the way it looks because at the end of the day you're putting it in your mouth you're putting your tobacco in it uh, you're lighting it and you're working it and it's your pipe you don't want it to look um, like something else you don't want it to look like uh, some you know somebody else that if you're not wanting to um, go with a big favorite is like Bing Crosby and I forget which pipe company makes the Bing's favorite that's a sharp looking old English looking pipe you know if you see a picture of Bing Crosby smoking a pipe and you think hey that's a sharp looking pipe I want one you're still responding to it based on looks and I, that's that's cool I, I, I get that um, the next one is how it feels and there's a lot of parts to that and that's where you get into how the pipe works in terms of the tobacco and how it, which leads into how it feels in your hand. If it smokes hot, uh, it's balance, whether or not you want a, um, a lucite or an acrylic stem, uh, kind of like what you feel in your mouth. I have no preference on a stem. I'm, I'm good acrylic or anything. Um, also it, you know, depends on how it, as I've talked before, how it sits in the pocket of your hand and, uh, just kind of the feel of it, the heft, um, again, the balance uh, as it sits in your mouth. Um, I've got an Oompal, but Oompals kind of hang weird. Their, their weight's kind of weird to me. Um, there's times I'm in the mood for one, um, but as a general go-to, um, it's not really one of my top pipes to say, oh, that's a great pipe. Um, also, how it feels when you draw it, how it feels when you smoke it, outside of the temperature and um, things like that. How does the draw feel? How does that, how does that tobacco feel if you taste it and things like that? And that gets into, uh, do you want a bent? Do you want a full bent, a slight bent? Um, the, how clean the draw is? even where the drill hole is in, in, the, in the heel of the bowl there. And, you know, if you've got a, a pipe where, that you love, and that uh, pipe in the drill hole is out of, just halfway up the bowl or something kind of crazy, but you love it, it's a great pipe. Um, now there are some aesthetics, there are some quality standards that collectors want, and quite frankly, sentiment is no Sentiment is no asset in a pipe. Uh, like the first pipe I did, that Corleone, that's uh, burnt to hell and back and cracked and the shanks cracked and everything else. I love it. It's got a lot of sentiment. But if I ever decided to sell that pipe, we're looking at about a $5 deal. <laughs> it's a great pipe. It's one of my favorite pipes. But uh, it ain't going to sell. But So again, that's the difference in how it feels to you how that pipe feels to me. It's a great pipe because I like it. It's a great pipe because it feels good to me. Uh, it's a great pipe because it looks good in my eyes. And so, you know, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there to you um, as you think about your pipe collection, as you look at a pipe. And of course, there's things that you're, um, you know, as you buy a pipe, you want to consider the look the feel. I mean, you can't necessarily put it into your mouth at the pipe shop without having bought it. And again, I'm sorry for that light. I know that's probably driving some folks nuts, but I am aiming it pretty good in the hole. I'm not burning the, the rim. Um, just overfilled the Zippo. But, you know, take ch check the draw. Put your uh, a pipe cleaner through it. Make sure it's a good draw. Look in the bowl. Make sure that the drill hole is where you want it or where you've wanted it in the past or where you like it. it tends to be, you know, right in the heel. Maybe a shade up. That's tends. I'd like it either right in the heel, heel or just maybe a tick up the, with a curve there. Uh, and that tends to be my sweet spot uh, for pipes. And that tends to be the sweet spot for other pipes. So, but man, like anything else, I mean, you do you. And you know, if a pipe's great to you, it's a great pipe. However, don't be, don't be upset if somebody doesn't rate it a great pipe and if you go to try to sell it. So again, pipe smoking is um, very much centered around what feels good to you. And that can really be broken down into two areas, how it looks and how it feels. So um, yeah, remember that as you're going through your pipes and 
smoking your pipes and figuring out what tobaccos go, go well in, your, in each pipe and things like that. Um, again, something like, you know, something like this, I find a, like today's tobacco, the Virginias tend to do really well. So it kind of opens everything up. So, but that's just me. So I like the way this feels. I like the way this looks. It's kind of a Sherlock Holmesy pipe. And uh, that's what I go with. Oh, that's good. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Keep on puffing, and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow or not too far after that. Y'all have a good one. Take care.